We made it into Lukla. We're going. We're going off. Yeah. Marvelous. Slowly, slowly. Slowly, slowly. Yes. <laughs> this is Lukla. Shops and hotels and cafes. <coughs> this is our guide, CR. Hello. Oh, thank you. Hello. Oh, and these rice. Please. We're off and it's about half past nine on Sunday the 6th of November. How are you feeling? Three kilometres in. <laughs> that was fine. <laughs> Our first rope bridge. Actually, it's got a metal base. I was thinking it'd be wooden. It's a bit bouncy. <laughs> Hello. It's a very large rock with lots of writing on it. You turn a corner and we just see this raging river from the Kumbu ice flow. Way to Namchi Bazaar. <laughs> More steps. We've arrived. That's the Mount. Kalash Lodge and Restaurant. Oh, up and down though. Oh, oh so down. many up and down. Oh, I don't know how many hours that was, but a lot. Well, we started at eight, didn't we? 20 past nine, we actually left. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise what you were doing at the time. <laughs> We've been waiting for our food for ages. We want to eat it rather than speak. Copy. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, the bags are getting packed. <laughs> Through the gate. Through the gate. And, and do, do, do the lucky drum rolls. This is the path that we're going up. Wow. I've been busy doing photos. Now that the straggler has arrived. Look at that. This is the raging river from the Coombe Glacier. And here we have the double bridge. Which we've heard so much about. And everyone's having pickies and delayering. Yeah. Did you look down? No, <laughs> <laughs> prayer, prayer rock. Prayer rock. Wow. 
Don't lean over too much. In Namchi Bazaar. Ah, I've always wanted to come to Namchi Bazaar. Going through the gate of Namchi Bazaar. The prayer wheels are going round. There's yaks roaming the streets. Walking out of Namchi Bazaar now, after we've had lunch of noodles. And there's the double road bridge that we crossed. All the way down there. And here's the path that we could see. It's amazing, isn't it? Hmm. We've done well walking up there. We can see Everest. Are we here? Oh, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> What's the time? Three o'clock. And we're here already? Yeah, we're quite, I saw that path up there and I thought that's where we were oh, going. Gosh. I thought we were going further. I just started, I just see robes thinking we've look, got a lot more to do. Look, they sell beer here as well, I can see it in the window. Oh, yes. Well done. Oh well. Yeah. Oh, Excellent. Thank you. Amadablam. Yeah. Amadablam. Ginger tea. Cheers. <laughs> so this is our bedroom in Amadablam. That's where Ness is sleeping. All nice and neat and tidy. And this is my bed next to the window, which I'm sure provides me an extra chill factor. Yes, and actually we've got an ensuite, would you believe? Which is okay. Only a cold shower though. You have to pay 500 rupees, which is £3.50 for a hot shower. What are you drinking, Ro? I'm having some ginger tea and some popcorn. Popcorn? That they cooked very nicely for us. Mm. So we're at 3,550 metres and tomorrow we're doing an acclimatisation day, which means we get a second day of this luxury lodge. In the Amadablam Lodge and Restaurant, all cuddled around a hot fire. It's now 8.30 in the morning. We've just come down for breakfast. That's Amadablam. The sun has come up from behind the mountains now. But we stayed in this quite a nice place last night, but it's so cold. There's no heating in the rooms. We could see our breath. It uh, got down to about minus nine, minus 10 last night, so we're told. How's breakfast? It was okay. Really good. Yeah, had, what was it? I had cornflakes and toast and honey. Toast and honey, very nice. Amadablam, what a mountain. What a mountain. This all looks a bit leafy, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's nippy. It's definitely nippy. <laughs> This is Kumjong village. It's quite nice, isn't it? All lovely and clean.
Do they have trees here? We're going to see a school. Kumjong High School. What a great view from this village of Amadablam. Beautiful. So this is the monastery. This is a Yeti skull. Allegedly. Lots of Buddhist statues here. Very colourful and really well kept. Walking through the forest. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely little spot in the afternoon here. <laughs> Having uh, Lunch on the patio, looking at Amadablam. <laughs> Sunset on Lotzi. <laughs> Can you see my breath? It's that cold. I mean, apart from those loos at festivals, this must be the most basic of loos ever invented. There's a you sort of pee down there, but it has given the option of, for very short people, of having a look out the front. And this is the ladies. Oh, it's just a hole in the ground. But you do get some hay to wipe yourself, I presume. No, maybe you meant to probably throw that over the top. Oh, and you also get a viewing area. Uh, day four. After our climatisation day yesterday. Probably the hardest day so far, actually. Very dusty. So it was really cold this morning. Below zero, obviously. But as soon as you get in the sun, oh, it's, it's roasting down to one layer. And then as soon as you stop, well, you cool down to start with, but you then have to layer up again. If you're stopping for a bite to eat. But this road is, this path is so dusty. And when the yaks go by, you have to pull your, your snood up over your nose. Otherwise you're just breathing in Himalayan dust. How's it going, Nessie? It's tough this morning. I found it tough. It's hot, some steep climbing, continuous climbing. Kieran, how's it going so far? <laughs> Are you enjoying your walk today? Yes. How I'm far have we got left to go? Uh, one and a half hour. One and a half hours, yes. before lunch? Yes, yes. Oh yeah? Oh my god. Yes. Really? No, one and a half for us, um, 40 right? minutes. 40, for, oh, 40 minutes for us? Yeah. What about for me? <laughs> what about for Nessie? <laughs> Two hours. Maximum Two one hour, yeah. <laughs> Maximum Two hours. one hour, Nessie. yeah. Her, her. Yeah. 
Lots of carving gone into that. So we're in Teng Boche for lunch and what an amazing view. We've got Amadablam, we've got Lotsi and we've got Everest. Oh, it's amazing. And this is the monastery. It looks pretty good. We're just going in to check it out. Okay. How long will it take us to get uh, to Pangboche? One and a half, half hour. Okay. But depending on the walking, maybe 15 minutes, half an hour, maybe difference. Yeah. So this is where we had lunch. It's amazing because if you just look up, there's just incredible mountains up there. Another bridge. Oh, that's Amadablam. They're storing the potatoes underground, I suppose. Pangboche! The Pangboche Namaste Lodge and Restaurant. We've arrived. End of day four. So this is the room. Oh, oh what do you reckon? <laughs> Basic. Not, not five star, is it? <laughs> Basic. Oh. Basic. Our bags have arrived. They always arrive before us. I don't quite know how the, the yaks oh, get sure. here. Hot lemon every morning. Mm-mm. Where, where are we going today? Perizhi. Ah. Here is a 4,350 uh, meter high altitude. Okay. We will stay there tonight and tomorrow night, yeah. Tomorrow going hiking Nakarzung Hill. Another part. Okay. Maybe 4,600, 700, we look the people situation walking. And how long does it take us to get there? Oh, two, uh, three hours. Look at this, we've got a bit of hydroelectric power going on here. Look at that for an arete on Amadablam. Is it snack time, Nessie? Yeah. Mars bar. A squashed Mars bar. These are ours. These are our yaks because this is what our bags are in. Yeah. Ten of them. Hey. What's this place called? I call it Shomari. We are now Shomari. Shomari? Yes. Oh, Samari. Yes. Okay. So 4,040 4, meters. Oh, okay. Now. So look at this. This is an old satellite dish. They've lined with tin foil. So the heat of the sun feeds the kettle. Ooh. Now that is clever. We're uh, at 4,100 meters. We are indeed. And we have the tree line now, don't we? Yeah. The trees have just gone. So we're on day five and it's actually a very relaxing day today. We've only got three hours walking and we set off about nine o'clock. Four thousand two hundred meters high. What does that mean? That's my previous highest record. Woo! And where did you do that? Um, Machu Picchu, is that Dead Woman's Pass? Or you can see where we're staying tonight. Perishay. 
great little village these are. Ah, oh, they're brilliant. Here we go. This is end of day five. And here's O'Neill to welcome us. Welcome. <laughs> to the Himalayan Lodge. How do we feel, guys? Excellent. Good. Absolutely. Yeah. Good. And it's only half past 12. Exhilarating. 4,250 meters. We've only done three and a half hours today. Yeah. We must be ready to party. Oh, I don't know about that, but. <laughs> tea house where do we go in here oh that looks like a bit restauranty oh this is a big place namaste namaste look at this this is a big place isn't it so day five accommodation in Paresh What's this looking like? Oh, pretty much same as same as the others. Two beds. We've got the sun coming in. You've already put your bedding out, Nessie. I have. Trying to get organised. This looks quite nice again, doesn't it? Yeah, it does actually. It's fine. It's looking cold at night, but it's fine. Frozen windows, Nessie. So, how are you feeling? <laughs> oh, tired, cold, headachey. But that's all right. I can barely breathe as well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've got a pancake. I'm pancake with jam. Pancake with jam. Oh. Yep. Then pancake. Yeah. Got any honey? Any honey? <coughs> How's it going, guys? How's breakfast? Delicious. Sherpa bread. Sherpa bread. This is Paresh. That is it. Cool. You can probably count the number of buildings there. Good view. Yeah. Nice path. <laughs> Not a lot of oxygen. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello there. How's it going? It's going pretty well actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Hello. Fantastic, I feel brilliant. I feel fantastic. Hello. <laughs> so this is Makalu. Makalu. Yeah. Makalu. Makalu. Then we've got Island Peak. Lotsi. Labuche. Labuche. Choyo. Choyo. Labuche. Luce. Tabuche there. The Holy Rock. And this is our acclimatization day. Uh, How high are we going? Uh, 4,600 or 700. That's it. That's as far as we go. This is the room that everyone congregates in, in the evening. 
well, most of the day actually, because there's the fire in the middle where everyone sat around, boiling the kettles, but we eat in here and play cards in here and everything. And it's actually quite warm in here. It's just, it's the bedrooms that aren't. How's your Sherpa bread? It's good. A bit greasy, I'd never have it at home. What have you got? Considerably more exciting than my two rounds. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a bit greasy on your fingers. There's porridge, yeah. cornflakes, muesli, pancakes. Packing up the axe. Day seven. Day Gosh, seven. Day seven. Wow. How are we feeling? Good, actually. Yeah, I slept well last night. Yeah. That was a, a new experience. <laughs> I actually woke up with a smile on my face rather than oh tears this goodness. morning. <laughs> <laughs> Walking out of the Paresh village, is that how you pronounce it? Come across a herd of yaks. Perishe. Perishe. Yes, well that was one, one of our... Uh... On the way to Labuche. It's four... 4,550 meters and uh, we've come across this sort of rocky slope. So this is Hukla. This is our lunch spot. What do you think of that then Nessie? Yeah, good. Can't I think that's a great idea yet. having lunch. I do. Well, I'm not hungry. Oh. So we're currently in Thukla, elevation 4620. We've got 9k to go. We're actually going to get there tomorrow. And we're staying in Labuche tonight, which is three hours. And this morning we've come from Perishe. Look at this. This is uh, pretty steep going up here. So this is the memorial for the people who've died climbing Everest, which is all a bit sad and emotional, but it's nice that they're remembered. Rob Paul, he's the man. How are we feeling this morning? Fantastic. We're brilliant. <laughs> yeah? Natty, go Natty, go. Two hours Natty, in. Natty, go. Go Natty, go. It's the most challenging thing we've ever done, but it's worth it. 4,808 meters, the height of Mont Blanc that I stood at all those years ago. 4,900 meters. That's a good 700 meters higher than you've ever been before, Natty. How are you feeling? Shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> You got a headache? A headache, a cake, a cake. Oh. oh, we've arrived at Labuche. Just over 5,000 meters. This is where we're staying the night. And it's only quarter to three. So we have plenty of time to rest and recuperate. Looks like we're staying at Oxygen Restaurant and Home. In La Buche. Gosh, another big old place. And this is the room. 
pretty much the same as every room we've had, except we've got a desk now. So, day eight. This is the day, Nessie. How are you feeling? Cold. I'm tired and we've only just started. Stephanie? Cold. Cold. Very cold. <laughs> but as soon as the sun comes up, we might all be feeling a bit more. Oh, but look at that. We've almost got a full moon and the sun is on the clipping the tops of the mountains. Actually, when the sun comes up, it'll be like switching. The Kumbu Icefall. Coming down here, and at the bottom is base camp. And the Kumbu Icefall comes all the way down here. All the way down here. As you can see, it's covered in rock. This is Kalapatar. It's 20, 20 to 8. And we finally hit the sun, which is good news. Because it's definitely well into the minuses. It's so cold. It's extremely cold. And an altitude of 5,100 about. It's, uh, the air is pretty thin. So frequent stops are required. Have a rest. And Nupsi on the right. And Lola left. And Lola left. Lola? We've come across this really steep bit after a couple of hours walking this morning. It's not very long, but it's very steep. Climbing over this moraine now, which is really quite tough. There was a lot of ups and downs. We've been going nearly four hours. It's certainly been a lot of up and down. And at very high altitude. But we've finally come across Gorak Shep. Which is just a little village. <laughs> Buddha Lodge and Restaurant. Let's find out what's going on in here. Oh, it's another tea house. This is it. This is it. The moment of truth. This is it, Nessie. How are you feeling? Apprehensive, scared. Tony. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Everest. Stop, is that Everest? Stop, stop. See, oh, yeah. Only, yeah. Stop. How are we feeling, guys? Help us one. Not too bad. Yeah. We can do Did this. We can make it. How's it, how's it going over here? <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> okay. A little bit uh, fast. We're going a little bit fast. Uh, nearly zigzag each step, only a few minutes. How After this, we go down and flat. A bit like a lunar landscape here, him walking in between the moraine up towards base camp. There's Everest. As you get closer to base camp, it's just rocks. You just jump in from rock to rock. Ah, oh, there's Everest. And here's the Cumber Ice Fall. I think this might be base camp. Oh, man. I've looked forward to coming here. But I'm excited. <laughs> So there's a long, been a long old queue for the photos. 
but um, got to be worth doing. And this is the Cumber Rice Fall where they, where they get up to uh, Base Camp One. It looks really precarious. Wow. Top. We have Everest. There's Everest. There's Everest.